how it has yes. uh, been affected by insecurity. We've tourism, seen travel, is, tourism is suffering. We've seen travel advisories. Suffering seen very People seriously. have been evacuated from this country. Withdrawals. Uh, do you think it was justified, first of all, for foreign governments to do that? And do you think the government's reaction to this was right? Again, this is born out of the knee-jerk reaction that we're getting from the Jubilee regime. They are unable to handle our diplomacy. They are unable to engage our friends. Instead, they are busy warning our friends, insulting our friends, and you've seen it on the media. Should, you, should the president have been more diplomatic, and do you think we can no. really do without the Western more, nations in tourism? Let me be very honest. Mm. Let me be very honest tonight. I think today, for the, since independence, and he served as a, as a minister for foreign affairs, yeah. today we have the best foreign policy in Kenya. Why do I say that? Honorable Watangula is saying that we are, we are, we are mishandling our friends. Under, under, under his watch as a Minister for Foreign Affairs, yeah. the worst corruption happened under his watch as a Minister of Foreign Affairs. Okay. So, so I mean... I designed the foreign policy that he's no, talking no, no. about, Hussein. It's not okay. well, let me if, it is, you. if it is about foreign yes. policy, yes. the worst foreign policy... But let's, where let's corruption address. went to the Minister of Foreign Affairs right. was under his watch. I'll I mean, give, I'll let's give be you, very honest to you Kenya. These are diversion I'll, give you, I'll give you time to respond to that, yes, but let's, 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 try, let's try and focus on what you're talking about. Yes. Uh, Honorable Rutangula has talked about diplomacy. Uh, we have seen Western governments going ahead and yes. doing this. They didn't talk to the government. Do they know something yes. we don't? And do you think if there was diplomacy, they would have maybe told the government there's ABCD happening? It's not the first time travel, travel advisories have been issued by foreign nationals. Okay. in Kenya. It happened in the last government. It can happen now. What is very strange is the kind of evacuation the foreign, uh, mainly the British are doing. Can you blame them for that? No, no, and no. no, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Ask let me finish. And let me finish. Yes. If it's because on the war on terror, on the war on terror, we are together with the Western powers. Kenya has been and is still mm -hmm. a serious target of terror because of Western interests. So we, you, you cannot tell us we are together in the war on terror, but when you evacuate right. uh, your, 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 your nationals, Kenyans. then we are, we, are, we, are, we are either together in this war or then we are not together. Okay. Briefly no, Kenyans now. must know that travel advisories have always been there whenever there are issues, and every country has the right to do that. But also remember that since our independence, even after the bomb that hit the American embassy, there were no evacuations from this country. Okay. And it, what the Jubilee regime is doing, mm -hmm. they have completely abdicated their duty in the diplomatic circles. They're busy exhibiting unhelpful <laughs> arrogance, <laughs> insulting our okay. friends. Kindly, answer, kindly, kindly, Hussein, Hussein, kindly yes. let's answer, kindly yes. let's answer the next Hussein, question. I think, kindly, let's, Hussein, let, let, let I think kindly, the Honorable Jubilee Duane, government will. has shaped the foreign policy. Right. Kindly, mainly, let's, let, mainly, us answer, let us answer the next question. Coming from where uh, we were when the Honorable Musa Otangu was Fine, Mushma, you've, foreign, made, you've made that our point. Our best foreign diplomat. You've made that point. I'm yes. sorry to interject you, but let, let us move to the next point. Uh, and let's answer this in less than one minute so that we move to anglo Right. Court has been talking about insecurity and the government blunders. Yes. Would you say, or what can you tell us is the best option or alternative to handle insecurity in this country? We have told the Jubilee regime, and anybody who cares to listen, that you fight insecurity through intelligence gathering. You fight insecurity through equipping the police and the organs that deal with security. You fight insecurity by getting competent people in office and de-ethnicizing the running of the security sector of the country. Right. You will get security properly done if you have the correct people in the right places. Okay. And I've told you, Sen, I think things are not right, things are not going well, and what we have is a reactive government that is constantly trying to extinguish fires. They don't even know who is lighting the fires. Okay. Constantly Sen, running. I'll, 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 Sen, I'll give you numbers you know? and I'll give you facts. What Very the Jubilee briefly. government has done mm. in terms of security. I agree with him. I don't, want, I don't want to play ethnic you politics. You agree with him on one point. I, I, I don't want to play ethnic politics to our civil servants. That, that's being very naive. Okay. But it is we unconstitutional have, we have, to ethnicize we have, any we sector. We have, you know? we have increased the number, the ratio of police officers to the citizenry. We have, for the first time, introduced, this government has introduced an insurance policy for our men and women in uniform. For the first time. Mm -hmm. Better than, okay. Let me finish. 
For the first time, we have we're doing housing projects for our men and women in uniform. We have doubled the equipment. We have doubled the technology okay. and the labs. And more importantly, as he said, and I agree with him, we need to upscale both our national intelligence gathering, right. regional and global. Right. That is basically... Let's go to Angolism. Let's go to Angolism because this, of time. This was, not there. this was not there in the government that is... You can see, obviously, can't okay. answer why we have yeah. run away in security. Why right. are we bombing churches? No, no, no. Right, right. We have handled, we've handled security. You have, to, you have to bear with us because I mean, of time. Let's go, let's go to Angolism now. Our president's directive was on Thursday. It's been five days. People are already talking. So let me ask you, has that money been paid? I don't work for the executive, but I can tell you from the Constitution, Article 223 of the Constitution <laughs> empowers the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary to pay and come and explain to Parliament. Let me tell you, uh, Maha Hussein, and I want the minister to answer me, mm -hmm. and I want him to look at Kenyans. Mm -hmm. In last government, he was a member of the Subcommittee of Security. Mm -hmm. He was a member of the Cabinet. They paid 5.6 billion of the Angolanism project. Honorable Rengo was in that cabinet. Okay. Honorable Raila Odinga was the coordinator. He sat in that cabinet. What we did as the Jubilee government was to, because that's what they did was they, they hide under the carpet. Right. What we did was we wanted to show transparency. We wanted to involve Let the him public respond. and we wanted the people's So that is the question. Yes. Is so he said in that cabinet, it is very easy, okay. Okay. Let him he, respond. Why did he pay? It is very easy, Hussein, to give excuses, which uh, Adam Duale has exhibited extreme distinction yeah. in doing that. Billion. But let me tell you, the Jubilee government takes to parliament a motion engineered through the Committee of Finance and say, parliament give us authority to pay. Parliament becomes restless and says, no, they are rank and file rebel. They withdraw the motion. Then in between, the head of state sits at state house and announces that we are going to pay anyway. One, unlawful. Two, unconstitutional. We want to see whether the president has complied with Article 135 of the Constitution that requires every single decision the president makes must be in writing, must be signed, must be sealed. Where is the authority that he gave to pay Anglo leasing? Let me, let me answer that. Because he's, I, he's not answered my question. I asked him, Anglo and, leasing, and, 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 Anglo I, I, leasing. I will go back to that. Yes. I will go back yes. to that. But let me tell he, you. Was, he was very specific, very specific. in that his lease was also paid for no, no, in the said, last government. He sat in the subcommittee on security in last cabinet. He sat in the cabinet with Honorable James Orengo. So is what they the paid 5.6 billion. So is what Jubilee well, doing very unique? No, 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 has it been done? No, 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 let me tell you. My, I was saying, I, I've not finished. They paid 5.6 billion without the Kenyans not knowing. And I said, let me tell you. The question before Kenyans today is not, there's no choice to pay or not to pay. We must pay. There is an international judgment. And I was saying, uh, if, 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 an if, if, international if you, yes, judgment, yes, an international judgment, engineered through which was, engi which was, of which was, which was engineered by his co-colleague in the court, uh, Senator Wako, who was who was the he attorney general. He has denied general. that. We can't we can't Wako talk about Wako. He, he can't defend Wako himself. No, 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 no. Trial, let, yeah. let me have yeah. Wetangula respond to what you yes. say. Let me have you know, Hussein, two wrongs don't make a right. Anglo leasing was a fraud. The president today chaired public accounts committee. Right. And he, he spent taxpayers' mm -hmm. money and went up to London. He came and told us the building that was the registered office of Anglo leasing somewhere, was it in, uh, in, in uh, Manchester somewhere? Right. Was in fact a small disused building okay. that no office existed. He came and said, can't pay, won't pay. Very good. Now he's Usain, saying, Usain, he did pay say, immediately. Usain, he's, he, Usain. If you read the Public Accounts Committee he report... He said, no, no. terminate this legally. He said this is a monster uh, fraud. Hussein. And Usain. we will not pay. Okay. Usain, listen. Your final the comment on Anglo is the yeah. Public Accounts Reports of 2006, March 2006, had three recommendations. I mean, you know, we must tell the country pure, you pure facts and figures. You can't defend the indefensible. He said three. Okay. He said three. The recommendations are three. One, projects that have started... Anglo leasing projects of the 18, the one that have started, can be renegotiated. 
the ones that have not started and mm -hmm. payments have been made mm -hmm. must yes payments must be returned back yes this is what the report says okay let me just ask, ask this question this, this is this is coming this is coming honorable and, 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 uh, let me give time to honorable yes. this is coming from the courts uh the government said the hands are tied i would just want to know if it were, if it was the court coalition in government yes. right now faced with a similar situation how would it have handled uh, this we are not being told the whole truth about these cases in the beginning because we are told cases went to court they we were incompetently represented there is a judgment which nobody has seen there's a decree which nobody has seen. Okay. There's an order to pay which nobody Hussein, has seen. Hussein, okay. You know, we are just deepening the anglo leasing mystery Hussein. as a monstrous Hussein. fraud that is consuming right. more and more. Hussein. Right. We're running Hussein. out of time. We're taking yes. a commercial break. Gentlemen, we'll be back uh, with this discussion after this short break. Stay tuned.